guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes, this is Glad Diary and on this channel I do talk about my experience, my lifestyle and also cooking as a Nigeria based in Homa Hara Gulf country. Yes, your Ninja babe is here. So guys, in today I want to talk about things to be considered before you renew your contract in any arab gulf country i note some points here so I, I want to be fast about this video and the number one here is ask yourself can i see cope uh do i have this strength and check yourself mental and health care guys you need to check and be assured of your health status before you have this mind of saying okay i'm going to renew my contract or i'm going to stay again in any Arab gulf country to work as a domestic worker because working here is stressful and you have passed through a lot of things going up and down for the past two years and you are like you have been told or you've been asked again Will you re renew your contract with us? Not going back to your country. And you're like, should I go ahead or not? If you can cope, cool. If you are too strong, if you are still strong to work, good as well. But ensure you are mentally and physically fit before you agree to continue in that contract. And another one is, were you able to raise enough money or enough capital to establish yourself if you go back to your country yes you need to think you need to think about this very very well that okay if i go back to my country uh do i have enough have i saved enough is it okay for me to go back put that into consideration before you know before you say yes or no and here as well think about how the family treat you did they see you as a human for the past two years you have been staying or working with them or did they treat you the other way around or you were treated like an animal guys if you are in this situation that the family you, you have worked for the past two years they didn't see you as human they ask you at the end of your contract that will you like to renew the contract hmm. think think i mean it think before you say yes or no and do all you have been doing all kind of work for the past two years according to your contract agreements and you think you have to think about it being here for two years is it worth it did I really uh, is there any differences in your situation what brought you over here your present and your past and present situation put them into consideration or oh, is this worthy worthy to say okay yes or no these are things you need to put to serious consideration that oh my god I've been in Harap for two years and I've handed my contract. Even when I was given another offer to renew, but you guys, you don't need to jump into renew. So far, you are not forced. You are not forced. So don't be. Don't see yourself that. Uh, let me just say yes. No, this is the time for you to decide. After finishing your first uh, contract in any Arab Gulf country, you can then get yes. You can shakara. You have a say now. Yes, because you gain your first freedom. You already gain your first freedom. So you have a say. To, you have a say of declining and accepting. So guys, if you know that your first day, you pass through a lot and it's not worthy of staying, it's advisable you go back to your country. Yes, it's advisable. Since it's there's when when you notice there's no differences of your coming and when you are still at home. If you you have because a lot of people were facing that situation that uh even being here, they have they work for two years and they ask them, What have you achieved? 
what uh what are you up to what uh what is in your account they were like it's not that they don't know what to say but they were ashamed to say it out because the differences between living home and their present situation is kind of uh too slim to say it's okay uh I believe you get my point. So if you if you know that things are not that different for you, don't renew at all. Another one is how much love, how much trust, and how much freedom were you able to gain with the family you are working for for the past two years? Were you able to gain love from them? Were you able to gain your freedom? At least it's not total freedom but how much freedom were you able to gain be within the house or when you go out with them how did they treat you do uh did they really trust you because you know when you are working with some people they don't trust you they, even though they, they will be pretending that they trust you but they were monitoring you in other way around like maybe she's inside my room i have to be there things like that Still having that kind of habit, have no trust in you at all, or still seeing you as someone who is there to carry their property and run away. If you are kind of a family like that, you have to rethink before you say, okay, I'm going to renew. My sister, don't think about money, 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 money all the time. But you have to put things into consideration about renewing your contract in any Arab Gulf country. And another one, and this one is very, very vital. Yes, is your madam being secure or insecure? Is she secure or insecure about you? Be around her in her home. For the past two years, you will know if this person is really safe or if this person is well secure with me. Or when she, you are around her, how did she behave towards you? And what does she think about you be in a house for the past two years or when you are even still in that house what kind of look did she look about you did it she did it did it give you a good look that oh my god this girl in my house look at shape look at this all that is she kind of the person that is only after your physical appearance she's about be annoyed about your physical appearance in a house if you are in kind of a situation that your madam is not at peace it's not that she's fighting you but you can you we, we are human we can feel it and we know who really lovers and we know who doesn't at all and you know when someone is being uh conscious of herself from you that she's trying to uh protect her family but she can't send you out since you are working for her and but she can't even say that she don't really accept you into the house. If you're in kind of that family, you are working with that kind of madam. Don't. Because she's not, she's not free with you at all. Whenever your madam is insecure about your presence, just don't stay. Just tell her, thank you. Or you just bring something to excuse yourself from that family and go back to your country. Yes, you can still go and work in any Arab Gulf country if you still have that mind of working. But in that kind of family, don't stay. You have worked a lot. And God has really saved you. So save yourself. Guys, this is going to be the last but not the least. And this is, is better offer awaiting you in your country? Or do you have a very good plan to achieve when you go back to your country? If you really, really have this uh, plan or better offer and you are sure that, oh, when I'm back to my country, I can survive with this work if I start or establish myself, hmm. say, capital and no. Just say it. If you can say it, I'm, <laughs> thank you. You know, just chill down because you know that you have something waiting for you in your country, but don't be rude. Yes don't be rude 
say it politely ha i do appreciate you thank you but i've done enough i have to go i have other things in my country to do they won't be annoyed with you but when you do things politely they will even be happy with you for for you okay there's no problem even if they are good family you can even tell them i can still wait for a few days to get another worker and i can even help the worker to know one or two things about your family you can do that so guys and i hope you enjoy today's video and i do appreciate you please please i'm still begging you do share my video let us have more friends in this our diary now yes let's go together i'm begging you and much much love much much love and merry christmas in advance bye